A long time restaurant, Huntington, is closing for good. Owner Jason Webb announced this morning that he is permanently closing GD Ritzy's. News Channel 3's Joseph Payton is live for us outside the restaurant. Now, Joseph, this fall would have been the restaurant's 40th anniversary. It would have been. That tells you just how much history and how much people in Huntington really like this place. You could say this is probably one of Huntington's favorite meals here at GD Ritzy's for the last 40 years. Burgers, fries, and shakes. We talked to owner Jason Webb today and asked him why he felt like he had to close. He says it's really a culmination of unfortunate circumstances that left him uh, what he feels like was no choice but to close up shop. A place loved by many, GD Ritzy's has served its last meal. I love the shoestring fries and the cheese sauce, and, you know, I just hate that that's gone now. And when Jason Webb took over as the owner in 2019, he says there has been one issue after another, starting with the COVID-19 pandemic. Rising food prices, uh, and then, you know, this was, I had embezzlement happen at one point. Uh, the final straw has been this construction. Now, the fryers are turned off, chairs sit on top of tables, and a sign thanking generations of loyal customers hangs on the door. It also thanks Sid Torlone, who managed and owned the restaurant for 36 years. I had a lot of loyal customers, and it, it's painful to see them pull on the door and it won't open or drive through the drive through speaker and nobody answers it. It's, I know times are tough, but it's a good concept. It can work. Torlone hopes someone else might be interested in operating here. But the future of the building still needs to be worked out. Webb says his legal team is discussing an exit plan, but the fate of GD Ritzy's itself is sealed. Everything good thing has to come to an end at some point, and for GD Ritzy's, it's today. Certainly a sad day here in Huntington if you're a fan of GD Ritzy's. We actually just had a car come through the drive through right now to, to see if, if the news is true, and unfortunately for them, it is. Webb talked a little bit about the exit plan. He says there's a lot of loose ends that still need to be mm -hmm. tied up. They'll have to speak with the landlord about what happens to the land here and, of course, the future of the building as well. Um, there is some equipment inside that he said might be valuable to some folks who may want to get into the food industry. I know it's a tough day for the owner and the employees and also that loyal customer base. Joseph, thank you. And this November would have been G.D. Rissy's 40th anniversary in the city of Huntington.